Good afternoon, this is George from Fish Punt Design Studio, your complete business solutions for all your marketing needs. Uh, we're going to talk to you today about how to optimize your MapQuest business listing. MapQuest just launched their new local business listing. Um, it's here to compete with Google Places or Google Maps, better known as. Um, as far as statistics shows, MapQuest receives roughly about 8% search volume compared to Google receiving 18% uh, search volume for local businesses. So it's not a huge increase, but it will help in the long run as far as uh, driving customers to your local or through your front door. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to MapQuest.com which this is a main landing page for MapQuest. And if you look on the left here, it should say add your business to MapQuest. And if you don't see that, go down to the bottom, hit the little MapQuest right here. And if you scroll down, you have another listing or another link right here where it says local business center. All right, so we're gonna click on the local business center link. It's gonna take you to a sign up page. Now, uh, it's important that business owners or uh, representation for those businesses fill out this information correctly so that you can access your um, listing in the future. So, in our case, we're going to set up Expert Car Care's listing here. So, we're going to say James, and we got a phone number, which is going to be one of the main stores, and their email is uh, graphic at expertcarcare.com. So we're gonna create an account here and it's gonna send as for an email request. Starting back up here, you should get an email just like this inside your inbox. It's gonna be from MapQuest, it'll say get started. So if you click on get started, now it's gonna have you create a password, which we're going to put in our uh, setup password for expert car care and we're going to sign in once we sign in it directly asks us to add the business listing which uh, I'm just remembering now that uh, we're in Firefox and for some reason um, there's an error when you set up uh, in Firefox I actually had to switch over to Internet Explorer which we might be doing here in a second so you put in your business address, Owl Branch Road. Make sure all the information is correct. Hit continue. All right, welcome back. So we're uh, switched over here to Internet Explorer so we don't run into any issues as far as claiming this because it, it hung up in Firefox. So if you have any issues with Firefox, be sure to switch over to another browser and try it again. So we're going to click Claim Listing, or just Claim. And now we're going to see all the information that it already has. It'll propagate accordingly. Uh, that's the wrong phone number, so we're going to put the correct phone number. Which, uh, let's see, there it goes. And then uh, we're going to put in their website. Reservation URL. That would be uh, if you have any scheduling or appointment schedulers, which uh, Expert Card Care actually does. So let's pull that down real quick. I got to get the URL from their website. I'm not sure exactly what it was. All right. Uh, okay. Copy the URL in here. So now if anybody goes to MapQuest and they want to put in a reservation right away, it'll go directly to schedule appointment for them, which is very convenient. Now for a business description, we want to not uh, you don't want to sit here and plug a lot of keywords but you do want it to be descriptive so that a visitor will know what the business is about 
So expert car care is a complete automotive repair or actually automotive uh, tire repair and transmission shop. Uh, so for categories, now the description, it can be short if you want to. They allow 524 characters. It's not required as far as uh, search engine optimization. This is not going to play uh, a large part in it. It's more so local business listings are geocoded, which means that they're going to go according to where the customer or the searcher or browser, whoever whoever's looking for the business, is located. So if I'm driving down the street, it's going to show the closest shop to me that's in the right category that I'm searching for regardless of what the business description is or not. But what does matter is the categories. Categories, you once you start typing, it will tell you it, um, different recommendations that they have. So for automotive, they have automotive repair shops, which is the core of the business. So we want to definitely do that. Then if you hit this add another category, now you can add up to five total categories for your business. So some other services is tires. So if we type in tires, it comes here as tire dealer. So that's pretty uh, important to what they do. Oh, it looks like it froze again. So I'm gonna have to pause and reset my browser here. Ah, oh, there it goes. Nope, not a parking garage. Tire. Dealer. Let's try that. Let's try to just type it all in. See if it'll just narrow it down for us. Look at that. Now, if you want to be specific, you can. Um, this is helpful for some industries. Uh, in this case, most customers for expert car care do not type in the specific tire, but more so they type in they're looking for tires. So a tire dealer would cover all the bases. Another thing they do is transmissions. So we want to see if there's any type of repair for transmissions, which if you see here, it's got auto repair Amco transmissions, auto repair Lee Miles transmissions, auto repair Cotman transmission center. So I'm assuming uh, from MapQuest that these are just showing you relevant businesses to this uh, category so that you can have a grasp as to what that category covers. So in our case, we're just going to do transmissions right there. Uh, they also offer towing services. So we're going to type in towing and see what comes up. And if you look here, towing offers. And last but not least, we have oil changes. So let's see if this even comes up. Oil change. That probably won't. Or maybe it will. We'll see. Oh. Lube, lube and oil, there you go. So that's good. So now we got our five categories already listed. We got auto repair shops, tire dealers, transmissions, towing, and lube and oil. So MapQuest will automatically put this business listing under all those categories so that it can sort of cover the areas of expertise so people can find your business easier. Now we're going to specify the business hours. This is helpful for anybody looking to call your business, um, which obviously if they're on their phone, they're driving, they're ready to come in. You have to you know, give them as much information as you can. That way they have it on file, ready to go. So we're going to say, okay, they open up at 7 o'clock and they close at 7 o'clock. Same thing all the way down. 7 o'clock. Close at seven o'clock, which I'm just going to copy this stuff here. We're going to paste it all the way down. Now, on Saturdays are a little different. They open up at 7.30 and they close at 4 p.m. Sundays they are closed, so we're going to close that. Now we're going to paste these in correctly. 
well not incorrectly, but inside the boxes correctly. Okay. Next, we're going to add a photo for their storefront. Which, all right, we got a file here. We're going to upload their storefront image. Save it to file. There you go. Nice little storefront picture. That'll help people find it easier. If we had a YouTube video, we would upload it here by just pasting the link on file. Um, what they accept. Let's see. They accept everything here. Do invoicing and financing too as well. Now, location tips. This is going to help out uh, the end user. So if they're if you're located like behind another building, it's good to you know specify that information. And we're just going to put located on the corner of Howell Branch Road and Lake Howell Road Road Avenue. Avenue and then we'll put in parentheses here across from CVS parking tips well we don't need to have any tips for parking if you pull up you can park just about anywhere we're gonna hit next and now we're gonna get two options we can do a credit card verification or we can do a verify by phone which in this case they're closed right now so I'll have to verify it later but I can put that right here I'll verify my listing later so then if you do that you're good to go everything's set up they do offer other options where you can upgrade the listing and put a tag right here usually this is provided by a third-party company called yext.com and what they do is uh, they will automatically put this tag on their partner sites which I do believe if you look here this is how it's uh, partnered up you can see MapQuest, Yahoo, Yellowbot, Yelp, White Pages, Super Pages, City Search, Yellowbook and Local.com are all partnered up together so by creating one listing on one of them, you can almost get listed on all of them. But it's also important to, to submit your own listing to each one of these individually so that you can guarantee that all the information is correct and on file and they have the right phone numbers. So that's it. This is George from Fishplant Design Studio, and we hope you learned something from this tutorial. Take care.